down because after the break, it's Miracle Monday and an expert from Children's National Health System will join us to explain how they are expanding health care services across the city. Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Did you know that a third of the children who live in the district reside in wards seven and eight? Well, to help them lead healthy lifestyles, Children's National Health System has a major presence in these neighborhoods east of the river, and they're looking to expand even more. Joining me now is Dr. Candace Dawes. She is Associate Medal Medical Director of Children's Health Centers on Good Hope Road and Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. Welcome, Dr. Dawes. Thank you so much for having me today. Now, this is exciting news because the expansion of the clinics allow for better care of kids with asthma. But I'm just curious, how prevalent is asthma in the District of Columbia relative to the nation? wide average. So asthma is the most common chronic childhood illness and approximately 15% of children within the District of Columbia are affected by asthma. And this is one and a half times the national average. Wow. Yes. So uh, there are one and a half times more children with asthma in yes. D.C. than across the country. Yes. And our ED utilization rate is four times the national rate of children who visit the emergency department for asthma. Wow. So it's really important that we have these services um, located in the communities where we really need it. So currently we have um, IMPACT DC, which stands for Improving Childhood Pediatric Asthma in the District of Columbia, located at our um, emergency room at United Medical Center and at our site at the ARC. And with expansion, we continue to have these services and add it to one additional site within our city. And just curious, how many kids and teens does Children's National Health System see on an annual basis? So we see about 9,000 children and adolescents per year, uh, per month, sorry. Wow, that, that's a lot. And so you have a, a place on Naylor Road, mm -hmm. but you're moving in June to the Fort Davis Shopping Center. Tell me about the advantages of moving to a new location. Excellent, so that site will be moving in June. Um, the new address will be 3839 and a half Alabama Avenue and this will be located at the Fort Davis Shopping Center and at this new location we have safe parking options it is accessible via public transportation along the bus lines um, and we're hoping to expand our hours there that is so important when you said parking my, my son actually goes mm -hmm. to children's mm -hmm. but it's in a foggy bottom and parking and you have to like leave an hour mm -hmm. and a half just mm -hmm. to find parking and that could be a barrier to a busy parent exactly. who's on a lunch break or an abbreviated schedule, so I just think right. that's great. So we do recognize that, and that's one of the things that we look for when we look for new sites, is public transportation accessible and parking. Okay, now tell us about, you have another uh, new location opening in Anacostia. Tell us about the highlights of that. We do, so currently we have two um, offices, one located on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, and one on um, Good Hope Road, and in the summer in July, we will be moving those two sites to one new site. The new address will be 2101 Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, and at this site, we hope to expand the services that we currently have. So we currently have um, mental health services, a psychiatrist and a psychologist. We have um, lactation services, we have a breastfeeding peer counselor, and we have a certified lactation specialist. We will continue to pro um, provide the services that we have for our well child care, and we will also have um, some dental services and hopefully some hearing and speech services as well. And also our um, Impact DC clinic will be joining us there. That's great. Now I'm trying to think of landmarks for people mm -hmm. watching. Are you by the big chair? We are by Southeast? the big chair. We okay. are. We are We are right there at the big chair. That's good because a lot of people, that's like a hub. Transportation yes. and yes. lots of different yes. city services. So we will have parking options there. We will have longer, more convenient hours there as well. And that is public transportation accessible as well. Great. Now tell us about the ARC because this is a place where you can get services from you, but you're expanding mm -hmm. there. Yes, we are. So next summer um, in 2017, we will be expanding there. It's a $34 million expansion. Wow. And will afford us 92,000 more square footage in terms of office space. Um, our president and CEO, Dr. Kurt Newman, attended um, that groundbreaking ceremony as well as our mayor, Muriel Bowser, and that was in October. At that particular site, we will continue to have our health services there, but we'll also have some other um, services there. We'll have some educational services, and we'll also have a black box theater there. When I think about going to the doctor's office, Office. Um, sometimes you're, you're in a room, it's, mm -hmm. there's nothing to do, you're sitting there mm -hmm. for 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, not all the time. Not all the time. Not, not you guys, yes. but some other doctors. <laughs> um, but what I like about the ARC is I know seniors go and take dance classes mm -hmm. there. There are community events. So this is a place where the community can come together, get yeah. educated, yeah. but also check on their health. Exactly. So come visit us there um, now and then come visit us there next summer as well and we'll have more services there. 30, $34 million, $34 million expansion. Dollars, yes. 
Wow, so you're really investing in the communities we east really of are. the we Anacostia really are. River. We really are. Okay, tell people where they can find more information about all of your great services. So you can visit our website. Our web address is www.childrensnational.org backslash primary dash care. Well, thank you so much, Excellent. Dr. Dodd. Come visit us. Okay, we start, the next time I'm by the big chair, I'm going to be looking for Excellent. you. Excellent. <laughs> thank you so much.